guys, my name is Courtney and I have a death wish. Today I'm going to be talking about some books that made me feel certain ways about certain authors that I just don't want to read anything else that they ever write again. I know this is very controversial, very clickbaity, but I'm actually not trying to bash some authors. I know I will be kind of bashing a little bit and I know I will be controversial and hurting people's feelings, but it's my opinion. This video is less about bashing authors and it's more that over the years I've discovered what kind of things I like in books and what kind of things I don't like. It's not really I don't like these authors, it's just these are the kind of things that I don't want to see in my books or these are the kinds of things that I don't want to read about. For example, I don't like a lot of romance drama, I don't like a lot of regular drama in my books. I do like angsty romances but I do prefer a fluffy romance as opposed to a very like sexy swoony romance, those just aren't my kind of things. I prefer certain writing styles and these authors kind of have those things. It's not that I'm saying this author is horrible, it's just saying this author has this kind of writing and I don't like to read this kind of writing so I'm not going to read this author. I tried to make it from like the least controversial to the most controversial or kind of go with like ones that if you've watched my channel you'll you like know I don't like so it's a gradual increase of shock factor maybe. Although I think the last couple books on here if you've watched my channel will be very obvious. So the first author I'm going to start with is James Patterson. I read the first two books in the Witch and Wizard series. It's like one of the only book series I DNF'd. It's, it's one of the only books I've ever DNF'd in my life. I'm just not a fan. I know this isn't his worst series. I know that like, what does he do? The Alex Rider series or the Maximum Ride series? He does something like that and a lot of people really enjoy that series. For me, his books are all about really fast paced, kind of throwing everything at you. I'm not really a plot person with books. Plot is important to me, but like it doesn't have to be the main thing. I'm just not a big fan of his books or his writing. I know there's other books that are better, but I just don't need to read anymore because I just don't like it. The next author is Stephanie Meyer of the Twilight series and The Host. I have read the Twilight series and The Host. Yes, I was obsessed with Twilight for like two months when everybody was obsessed with it, but I am past that. When it comes down to it, just don't really like her romance plot lines, don't like her writing. I know a lot of people do like The Host, a lot of people still like Twilight, nothing wrong with that, it's just not what I want to read about. Just don't feel like I need to read anything more from her, like there's just so many other books, like why would I waste my time with Stephanie Meyer when there's things that I really really want to read. Next author is Riley Pearson. I have read Peter and the Starcatcher series which he co-authored and I have read The Kingdom's Keeper series which he wrote himself. This series is not that great, let's be honest. The writing is kind of eh, the characters are a little bit all over the place and it's very high school drama, very Degrassi with Disneyland and I was really just reading it for all the Disney references because I'm a huge Disney fan but a lot of this I just didn't love so I've stopped with the Kingdom's Keeper series, I'm not going to read the spinoff series and I honestly don't feel compelled to read anything by Radley Pearson. I think one of the reasons why it's Peter and the Starch Catchers was a lot better than the series is because he had the co-author who I think is a lot stronger of a writer. I just don't feel intrigued. He's all about relationship and friend drama and I'm just not about that. The next author will not come to a surprise for anybody that's watched my channel before and that is Simon Chinini. I hate this series so much. I am planning on finishing the last book so I will read another book by him but I really, I really don't like this book. I really don't enjoy the way he writes and his plot is just kind of a mess all over the place. He just doesn't write in a way that for me it's easy to understand. I will probably never read a Simon Chinini book ever again. The next author I'm going to talk about is Veronica Roth. I read the Divergent series and I have since unhauled it because honestly I just it wasn't for me. It just wasn't that great. Like a lot of people think the first book is really good and it kind of goes down from there. I honestly think the first book is just a three star. Like it just wasn't that amazing to me. And with the Carve the Mark book, which has some serious problematic things in it, I just don't feel the need to read anything ever again by her. Next author we have is Mindy McGinnis. I read A Madness So Discreet by her, which was really bad. Um, I hated it so much. I just thought the writing was bad. The plot was... No. She has written other books, but honestly, I'm just not interested in them. But I found out I don't like her writing style, so like, I just don't feel the need to ever read anything by her. Ever again. No, I'm good. The next author is Melissa Day Cruz, which I have also unhauled the book that I read by her. I read The Isle of the Lost, which, come on, we know that wasn't gonna be that good. That's kind of an obvious one, like it's just to promote a TV movie show. I have opinions about Melissa Day Cruz. We don't need to go into it. 
I just feel like I never need to read anything by her ever again. The next author we have will definitely hurt some people's feelings. And that is Renee Adier. I finished The Flame in the Mist by her recently, and it convinced me that Renee Adier is just not for me. I am going to finish this duology, but that will probably be the last Renee Adier book I will ever read. I read The Wrath and the Dawn. I thought it was okay. I had some issues with it. I'm not a fan of the writing. I'm not a fan of her kind of romance stories. And honestly, the writing just is a really big miss for me. I just... It's not like it's bad writing. There's plenty of people that like her writing style. I just don't like it. There's a lot of things that I just don't like about it. And honestly, this book was kind of so bad. After I finished this duology, I never need to read another book by her again. I'm fine. This was enough. The next author I have is not for sure. I think it's probably very likely, and that is Morgan Matson. This is The Unexpected Everything by her. It was a really good book. I just didn't really connect with the characters. This book just wasn't for me. Recently, I read Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and I absolutely adored this book. I really, really liked it a lot, a lot, a lot. So why am I not going to read anything by her? Like, these last two books were really great. The other books that she has is Second Chance Summer and somebody's epic detour. It's like the road trip book. Amy and Roger's epic detour, I think. I'm just not really interested in those stories. I'm not the biggest contemporary fan, and I'm very particular about what I like in contemporary. So I honestly just don't see myself reading another Morgan Matson book. There's just other contemporaries that I'm more interested in. So unless another book by her comes out that I'm really interested in, I really just don't see myself reading anything from her again, especially since her characters tend to be less shy and nerdy and more like regular people. As a nerdy shy person, I like to read from that perspective in contemporaries. So that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to stick with my little niche of contemporaries and just be happy. The next author that I will probably never read again. Okay, this is like another one that I'm kind of ugh about, like I'm not sure, but that is John Green. I like John Green as a person. I watch his videos every week. I like him as a person. I like his video content. Everything about him. I love him. As an author, he's not my favorite. I don't hate him. I don't love him. I'm very neutral about John Green as an author. I've read all of his books that are currently out. There's the new one, Turtles All the Way Down, which has me really intrigued. Honestly, I might read it. Like, I feel like I'm saying, I'm not gonna read a John Green book ever again because I don't really care, but then I'm gonna go turn around and read Turtles All the Way Down because it's coming out and everybody's getting excited for it. So maybe I'll buy the book and read it just to support John Green as a person, but honestly, I don't really feel like wanting to read it, but I am intrigued by the mental health girl character that sounds really interesting. So now we're going to get into the two very big authors. These people have avid supporters, avid followers. This one is for sure. I will not be reading anything else from these two authors ever again. It's like it's kind of set in stone. The first author we have is Sarah J. Mass, who wrote the Throne of Glass series and has written what the Court of Mist and Fury series. I am like this close to like DNFing the whole Throne of Glass series and not finishing it as it stands now though when I think about it I'm going to finish this series. I hate Selena, I hate Elena or whatever her name is, but I care about the side characters enough that I want to know what happens to them. So I am going to read the next two books in the series and then I'm going to be done. I'm never I'm not gonna read any more Sarah J. Mass books. I'm not gonna read any new series she writes. I'm not gonna read any of the courts series. I don't care about them. I don't like steamy romances. That's what I found out as a person. And Sarah J. Mass lives on steamy romances. She lives on character drama. I just don't care. And honestly, I'm just not a big fan of her main characters. I just don't like them. Her books for me just keep getting worse and worse and it's not because of the plot or what's happening to the characters. I think the actual writing is getting worse. The Throne of Glass series is severely overwritten. Like an editor just needs to get a red pen and start crossing things out because it's just the writing is so over the top and so dramatic and I can't take it. I roll my eyes reading these books. I know I should probably stop, but I'm going to finish because I have to finish things that I start. That's just me as a person. If it gets a spinoff series or anything, no, 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 I'm not going to read it. I'm done. No more Sarah J. Mass. I don't even want to read the Kale book, even though I love Kale. Like, I, no, I'm no, no, no more Sarah J. Mass. I'm sorry. She's just not for me in any way. The last author, which also has a huge fandom, which will come after me, is the Cassandra Clare books. I have read the Infernal Devices, I have read the Mortal Instruments series, and I'm done. I don't need to read anything else. Yes, I love the Infernal Devices. I have my problems with them. They're not perfect books for me. Mortal Instruments, 
I really, I don't have a good time with. I don't care. I know, I know, I know that her new books, I know that that new series is amazing. It's the best thing she's ever written, but I just don't care. I don't want to read anything else in the Shadowhunter world. Yes, the concept is like amazing and everything that I want, but I don't want to read it. She has so much drama, so much relationship and friendship drama. I'm not about that. It's just super angsty and just super steamy and it's just not what I enjoy. I am okay with sex scenes. That's not what it is. I just don't like these l teenagers running around all buff and just, no, I like sweet romances. I like cuddly fluffy romances. It's not the sex. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's just dramatic and gross and I just don't care. These are also books that I just roll my eyes through. My best friend Ryan told me some of the plot points for um, Lord of Shadows or whichever, whatever the first book is in that new series. And I was just like, oh my god, no, please stop. This is ridiculous. It hurts. I wish I loved it more. I wish I could be on the bandwagon. I'm sorry, I'm not. I don't want to read any more books by her. I'm so done. And they're huge. In the last City of whatever series this is, in the last Mortal Instrument book, they had sections of the new characters in California to like kind of introduce them and I hated those chapters like I hated her fake ass California I live in California I know what it's like to live here her fake Miami Beach like lifestyle it just hurt my soul as like a California person I surf I go to the beach all the time but it's just like and I couldn't deal with it those are the 12 authors that I honestly don't see myself ever reading from again I know this got really ranty really fast and really controversial, I'm sorry. It's my opinion that these authors are not for me, but I know myself as a person and I don't need to waste my time. That was a lot, I'm sorry. I'll see you guys later and keep it classy.